Dumped MP Rick Williams says he still supports Anastasia Palaszczuk, despite the Premier kicking him out of the Labor Party. A local newspaper editor says he made her fear for her life, but Williams says he's innocent and has secret recordings to prove it. By Rick Williams' own count, there have been 37 complaints about him in the past two years, and those are just the ones he's suing over. I am a good bloke and um, I look after people. Accused of menacing those who complain about him, the latest, a local journalist. That person has now taken and said that uh, they fear for their life. That was the last straw. Rick was flicked. They basically used my vote for the last 33 months and, um, and then they go and do this to me. Williams' disendorsement adds to the guessing game of when the Premier will call the election. He could make Tim Nichols Premier, but won't. I would not have confidence in uh, Tim Nichols at all. And the Premier's not scared of another sitting of Parliament. We've been working with the crossbenchers, uh, Shane, as you know, for the past nearly three years. But at least one candidate's not waiting. Former One Nation Senator Malcolm Roberts, disqualified from the Senate on Friday, trying for the state seat of Ipswich on Saturday. It's the first day uh, after the Senate and we're on the campaign trail. The Premier's making long-term plans too. 400 more police over the next four years and no commitment for that election. I'll be taking uh, a whole lot of matters into consideration uh, over the next few days. And Shane joins us in the studio. Shane, what sort of pressure is the Premier under to call this election? Mostly, Alison, it's got to do with that 26 days minimum that the government has to give for the campaign, the 26 days between calling the election and us actually voting. She has to fit that in before Christmas holidays and that's not easy to do. Uh, that's why she's only got those few days to make up her mind. We know it's frustrating. I'd pull my hair out if I had any, Alison. <laughs> All right, thanks, Shane.